Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Marhay na aga, marhay na hapon, asin marhay na bangge. It depends on the time if you are viewing this video. So, lahat binanggit ko. I am happy you have decided to view this and be willing to discover another topic in CSS9. For this video, you will be learning about network cable. We are still in the competency, setting up computer network, and aiming to achieve the learning outcomes 1.3, 1.5, and 1.9. This is the Computer System Servicing TVE Tech, and I am Mom Marjorie Irene De La Rosa, of course, your beautiful teacher. The main topic of this le lesson is network cabling, making connections with CAT5. In this lesson, here are the key points that we are um, hoping to be answered. So, like what cables types are available how do cables work how are cables used in networking and how are connections made so we would like to achieve the following objectives in this video lesson first is to list common cable types used in networking Number two, describe how UTP cables are made. Then, explain how these UTP cables are used in Ethernet networks. Also, after this video lesson, you are still expected to demonstrate the ability on how to make a working patch cable. So, meaning to say, after you have understood everything, you are to apply the knowledge that you have gained from this video lesson. And the basic, of course, you have to name the two wiring standards used for wired Ethernet networks and their uses. So those are our objective. Those are our objectives for today or for this video lesson. So in this video lesson, you will be introduced in, to this network, networking materials and cable splicing. You will answer a short quiz, which is also in your activity sheets. And you will be given instructions for your performance test so that you will clearly understand what you are going to do or what you have to do. What you have to do for the performance test. So, shall we begin? Are you excited? Of course, you should be excited because it's seldom that we have learned new things, especially in this topic. So, to start, let's have this cover or let's, let's learn the different network cable types. Okay, so you can see in your um, monitor or in your cell phone in this video the three different types of cables or wire that we will be using for this topic or we will be introducing in this video so first is the coaxial cable then we have the unshielded twisted pair and then we also have the fiber optic cable so most probably you are already familiar at least to some of this maybe a uh, uh, one or two of these cables you are already familiar okay so let's see first is the coaxial cable have you seen this one yes this type of cable most probably you are already familiar with yes because you might have seen this in your antenna or in your cable TV yeah so this um, coaxial cable is commonly used in television networks okay. so what is this coaxial cable for so this is used to transmit data internet video or voice communication 
So that is why these are also used for cables. This kind of cable transmits line or this is a type of transmission line for radio frequency signals. So for the radios, this is also used. Mostly the applications of this cable are uh, or includes feed lines connecting radio transmitters and receivers to their antenna. So antenna, computer network and connections, digital audio, and distribution of cable television signals. Okay, so as you can see, this has only a single um the sing has single conductor so you can see the inner part so this is what we call the inner conductor yeah that is the inner conductor this is a uh, it is the center of the cable so the inner conductor then um it has diatechric or diatechric yeah diatechric this part parang plastic part that is the diatechric then it has the outer conductor shield or the this braided part this is the outer conductor it serves as shield also to the conductor and of course it has the jacket to protect also the people holding the side wire so that is the coaxial cable Next, we have the unshielded twisted pair or the UTP cable. So, maybe you are familiar with, familiar with this UTP cable also. Okay. So, UTP cables are mostly used for LAN networks or the local area networks. They can be used for voice, low-speed data, high-speed data, audio, and paging systems. And building automation and control systems so they can be used both horizontal and backbone of the cabling subsystems so probably if you have seen a computer with a network like for example a connection to the internet or a local network like in a computer shop or if you have visited so because you are already in grade 10 most probably you have used the computer laboratory so you might have seen this type of cable already so this is used for the network connection or connecting the computers to another computer even locally even without internet connecting them uh, requires this type of network because unless otherwise they will be connected wirelessly so since we are going to connect them Locally, um, we will be using this type of Ethernet cable, which is the unshielded twisted part. Okay, so we will discuss more about this later. Uh, in this, uh, throughout this video, you will be discovering about the UTP cable because this is the main topic. Uh, so before we proceed with the UTP cable, we'll um, move to fiber optic first. Okay, so have you seen a fiber optic cable? So this cable, maybe you have heard this, especially uh, in these previous months, wherein people have stayed in at, or at home, and uh, most of the people are are having connections for internet because because we are staying at home. So we would like to know about what's going on outside in our world or in the society through the social media through internet connection so most probably some of you have heard about other internet connections provided or um internet service providers that are marketing or or advertising their use of fiber optic because this type of connection is a bit faster so it's faster as compared to the use of the local or the UTP okay or other cable types of cables so um, probably you have seen this or heard this about for example the Converge they have introduced the use of fiber optic in their connection 
So, how about this type of connection? So, what is fiber optic cable? So, usually this fiber optic cable are used for internet to transmit larger amount of data at very high speed. So, this is also used for computer networking, surgery, and dentistry, automotive the industry, telephone, lighting and decoration, mechanical inspection, cable television. There are different a lot of areas wherein um, fiber optic are used. So there you go. This is also used for lighting and imaging and as sensors to measure and monitor a vast array of variables. So fiber optic has a great contribution also as a, and useful in the research and development and testing across all above mentioned industries so mm, basically a fiber optic is composed okay so as you can see it has several parts several wire inside right so just like just like the coaxial cable it also has its jacket no and then it has strengthening fibers so these are fibers that protect and strengthens the the, the wires or the cables inside okay so basically here we have the core the core is the the same as in the coaxial cable the center conductor okay so the core and then it is coated with a, what we call cladding so the core is has its cladding around it and then it has its coating to protect the cladding so it is coating and then another strengthening fibers and cable socket and then um with composition of a lot of this several of this uh it has another um coating and then strengthening fibers and the cable socket again so that is for the fiber optic now this video lesson focuses on the utp cable so we will tackle about fiber optic and other cables on some other video lesson but for today for this video we will concentrate on the utp twisted pair now let's proceed with the utp cable characteristics so of course the the utp is unshielded okay and then twister why because they are pairs of insulated conductors so as you can see there are four pairs of conductors here and they are covered by insulating sheet okay then okay now let's move a little bit here so that you will be able to see the different parts so we have here the conductor Again, it's the center part of the cable or the wire. So it's the conductor. Basically, the, the data and all the electrical waves passes through here. So that is the conductor. And then, we have the insulation. That is the protective part of the conductor. So when you are trying to um, strip the cable, and before the conductor that is the protective layer of the conductor so we call it insulation so the two of these are the pair as you can see um it has the same color but the other one has a half color of white so it's um it's a pair of white and the color combination so with these four pairs of um wire twisted wire so we have the outer layer or what we call insulating sheet so 
it protects the entire cable also. Okay. Now, we move on to the different DTP categories. As you can re remember from the beginning, our topic is um, making networks using the CAT5, right? Or CAT5E actually. We will be using the CAT5E. Now, um, there are several categories for the UTP. First, we have the category 1, which is usually used or which is only used for voice. And that is commonly used for the telephone. So, that is the category 1. Then, we have the category 2. Um, this category provides local talk, which transmits data up to 4 Mbps. Then, we have the category 3, wherein it is already used for the Ethernet connection. It can transmit data up to 10 Mbps. The category 4 and category 5, the same as with the category 1 and 2, are now seldom used. That is why they are not highlight highlighted anymore. No? So, the category 4 can transmit up to 20 Mbps only. So, this is commonly used in the token ring. By the way, category 3 is not um, common nowadays. Although, it's been highlighted here because... This is the beginning of category we're in. Um, it has been used for uh, internet or um, data transmission for internet or network, computer network. Okay, now let's move on to category 5 where it's a bit faster than the category 3 and 4. So it can now transmit up to 100 Mbps. Then we have the category 5 and category 6, which is the commonly used nowadays. Category 5E can transmit data up to 1000 Mbps or a gigabit. Okay, so from, uh, as you can remember during the, or in the conversion, diba? Uh, from kilobyte or a thousand kilobyte is one megabyte and a thousand megabyte is one gigabyte that is why it's already gigabit inter internet because it's composed of a thousand megabytes okay then we have category six which can transmit data up to 2500 mbps okay So, in this video lesson, we will be concentrating more on the use of the CAT5E cable because this is basically the UTP or the type or the category of UTP cable that you will be using in the network splicing. So, all throughout the lesson in the setting up of network, computer network, you will be using the category 5E. Okay, now, are you ready? So, let's move on. Let's take a more look about CAT5E cable. So CAT5E cable can transmit data up to 1000 Mbps and can run up to 90 meters. Okay, so it's not the, the, the cable that will run. Meaning to say up to 90 meters your um, data will work very fine and fast. The transmission then we have the solid car cable ideal for structural structural installation the fibc or the plenum so then cat e5 cable is a stranded cable ideal for patch cable it is also terminated with rj45 so i hope you already have um i hope you already have uh bought the materials that I asked you before because we will be using those materials for this activity okay so I hope you have the cable and the RJ45 connectors so this is the RJ45 connectors it's a transparent um, terminator and then it has 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pins. Wherein, those 8 wires or the 4 paired wires will be uh, terminated in this pa uh, pins. Okay, so remember a while ago we have four pairs with four different colors and white and colored pair. So those will be inserted in this um, connector and then uh, it must be exactly um, inserted in these pins. So that is the RJ45 connector. So here are the tools that you will be needed for making the connections so first you need the cat 5 e cable the rj45 the cable stripper the scissors and the crimping tool so this is the crimping tool what does it use for so the crimping tool is the last tool that you will be using to crimp the rj45 and the cat cable the cat 5e cable so it is to fix the cable in the connector so that um the data will be the transmission of data will be stable okay then here are the steps so how do you how do you uh, do the connections so here number one strip the cable end number two untwist wire ends so untwist natin yung wire ends and then arrange wires trim wires to size attach connector and check and then crimp and crimp and test So, let's move on to the first part or the first step in um, making the wire. So, first, you have to strip the cable end. Yeah, so there you have it. So, that is your UTP cable. And you have to strip, meaning to say you have to remove the outer sheath, sheath of the wire to, um, to expose uh, this insulators and then um, in stripping your insulating sheet you have to avoid cutting into the conductor insulations you know because it will affect also its performance so carefully just remove it you can use scissor but you can also use the um, wire stripper so at least an inch and a half yung the the distance from the teeth uh, and then untwist the wire ends so, so you have to separate them they are twisted a while ago you have to untwist them separate them and pair them according to colors so you have to sort wires by insulation colors so, the green and the white green, the orange and the white orange, the brown and the white brown, and the blue and the white blue. Okay, so, uh, it's a bit um, difficult on the first part, but later on, you will, be, you will get used to it. You just need to practice more. And then, you have to arrange them. Okay, so we should follow the color combination or the color coding. For you to be able to um, create a good working connection, so we have standards, ano, standards color coding in arranging our wire. So we did not cut it from the wire. Huh? We are just holding the cable, and then um, we are arranging them by color. I have here with me the UTP cable, but it's already crimped. Okay, so I don't have the the extra cable and wire because I am using this for my internet so um, I will not cut, cut this but I will be uh, providing you a separate video wherein I am demonstrating this to you but for now this will be our um, uh, examples 
Okay? So, the pictures will be useful already. So, here you will just hold it on the tip of the insulating sheet and then arrange the colors according to these combinations on your screen. So, first we have the green, white, the, the white green, green, the white orange, blue, the white blue, and orange, and the white brown, brown. So, there is a combination that is the first combination. And then we have also another combination, the white orange, orange, the white green, blue, the white blue, green, the white brown, brown. So up to the, I suggest to my students usually the, to follow the second um, combination because it's much easier to, uh, to memorize. Okay, so it's important that you ha are familiar with this combination and that you memorize it so that any time that you have to do the cable splicing, uh, you don't have to look for the combination of these color codes. No? So you have to familiarize this and this is a requirement for you or from you. Okay? Then, after arranging the wires in by color, you have to trim this. Why do we have to trim the wire after we have um, cut the outer sheet or the insulation sheet from one to one and a half inch long? Why are we going to cut them? Okay, of course, because um, when you arrange them, they are twisted a while ago, right? So when you arrange them, you will notice that they will not be um, aligned the tip of each wire. When you combine them, they are not aligned, no? So, it is important that they are aligned so that they they will meet the pin exactly as by one, with one another, okay? Now, also, it is important to trim the wires. Aside from trimming them ev evenly, you have to leave about an half, a half inch of wire exposed only. Why half inch, okay? Because um, it is... You are going to crimp this in the uh, RJ45. Now, as you can see, let me show you. Uh, so, here, as you can see, the insulation sheet is, um, is also crimped or, yeah, is also crimped inside the uh, RJ45. No? So, yeah. So, yung, yung, yung yellow outer layer niya ay nakikrimp din sa loob. So, why? Why do we have to do that? Because uh, it is important that um, the outer layer is also crimped so that it will be stable. Because if you only crimp those inner wires, there is always a tendency that the, the outer layer or the sheath will be... Um, or the inner wires inside will will move no? it will move or it will loosen in the uh, RJ45 connector so the outer layer helps helps the wire to uh, be more fixed or be more tightened inside the connector so that is the reason so you have to consider this and you have to remember this that you have to cut it by half an inch um, after sorting the color of the wire then okay so after sorting the wire after trimming them you have to attach the connector so it should look like this yeah and you have to remember that the wire order the color combination that you have uh, memorized a while ago should be in order inside the connector so there is always a tendency that the wire will move from one pin to another no uh, yes there is always a tendency but you have to make it sure that they are arranged well and in order as stated or as um as discussed a while ago so yung order dapat yun yung magkakasunod sunod na po then the order must be from left to right with the RJ45 tab facing downward. So, meaning to say, the golden pins uh, are pay, pay, facing you, no? So, it must be facing you, 
and the tab is facing down, downward. So, it will be easier for you to see the colors and the pins. So, um, you have to arrange the order of the uh, color codes of the, um, the wire. So, there, you have attached the connector. Then, you will have to check. Okay, so our step 6 is to check our connection. So, do all wires extend to the end? So, yeah, na hanggang dulo ba yung ating mga wires? It must be extended up to the end sa pinakadulo so that the pin will be exactly on each um, wire. Okay? So, you can push it. Okay. So that um, you can give it a little help by pushing it, okay, so that you will be able to make sure that the end of the wire is extended up to the last part of the connector. And then, is the sheet well inside connector? So, as you can see here, the outer layer of the wire is fixed also here. So, it must be crimped as well, okay? So, it will help it tighten the wire inside the connector. So, if your outer sheet is cut here, there is always a tendency that it will lo loosen. Okay? So, that's it. Now, it's time for you to crimp your connector. So, to crimp it, you will uh, squeeze it firmly to crimp connector onto cable end. So, there, you have to crimp it inside the crimping tool. So, you will put the connector inside the crimping tool. So, before the, the crimping, it would look like this. Yeah, so the, the wire is a bit loose from the pin. But after crimping, the pin will be pushed through the wire and you cannot pull the wire. You will not be able to pull it anymore because it will be fixed already. Okay, so that is. Then, we have to check if the cable really do work. Okay, so does it work? The cable work? So, we will be using now the network uh, tester. Okay, the cable tester. So, here, um, all eight lights must turn on. So that uh, you will be able to identify that all eight wires for each pins are connected properly. Okay, so that is how you will know it. Also, if a certain light does not on or does not work function, uh, does not work properly, it would also mean that the connection will not work properly. So it is important that all lights must be turned on or that all lights must light on must be lighted on when you check the network through this tester. So, this network multi-tester uh, will allow you to, uh, this network tester will allow you to check if your cable is really working, even prior to using it. Okay. So, so th those are the steps. Okay, those, uh, those are the steps in making the cable connection. Okay, so were you able to get the, the, the eight steps in making connections for the wire or the cab uh, cable, UTP cable? So first, you have to strip the cable end. Okay, so you have to strip the cable end up to one and, and a half inch of insulating sheet. And it is important to avoid, remember, avoid cutting into conductor insulation. And then, um, sort the wires by insulation color. Then you remember and follow the order of the color coding. So, tip, it is easier to remember the second combination. White orange, orange, white green, blue, white blue, green, and white brown, brown. Okay, and then you have to trim all the wires evenly. So it is also um, advised or recommended to cut your wires of at least a half inch only. Of wires are 
exposed. So that um, even your outer layer shade will be crimped in the connector. Which, again, which will help your wire to be fixed in the connector firmly. And you have to attach the wire to your connector from with the wire order from left to right, tab facing downward, or the pins facing you. It is important that you arrange the color in order properly so that the work, uh, the work, the network or the cable will work properly in the network. Then, very important also to always check the um, the wires after the um, after you have inserted it into the connector. Why? Prior to the crimping, because this always um, causes the error or the problem in the connection. Pag hindi na you check, uh, yun, dun pala madi-discover there are still um, wires that are not um, meeting the end of the connector which has the tendency for the pin not to be exactly on the wire it is or it must be okay so yun pag hindi siya nag meet sa pin hindi siya makakaroon ng connection so ayan check and check and check then you can that would be the time you crimp ana you crimp the um the wire and the connector using the crimping tool and finally after crimping the wire you have to test test to check does the cable work okay test to check does the cable work okay okay so were you able to get it very good so i hope you really did well in getting the lesson in our video lesson now it's for you to check how well did you do in your lesson okay how did how how much did you understand in the video lesson so you have in your activity sheet the quiz for this activity so for you to be able to check how well did you do in the understanding of this lesson did you listen very well okay so let's see do you want to have the test here? Okay, actually, aside from your um, video, uh, uh, your activity sheet, we have your piece here. So, let's try. Okay, so first, let's have a short quiz. You have to identify the following. So, you have there the first picture. What type of um, cable is that? Five, four, three, two, one. There you have it. And then let's have the number two. Oh, you think you are familiar with this? Have you seen this at home? Let's see. Five, four, three, two. Okay. Next. Uh huh. Very colorful. Let's see what kind of cable is this. One, two, three, four, five. Did you get it? Oh, so let's have the different parts for number four to seven. The different parts of the UTP cable. Did you remember it? Were you able to remember it? Let's see. So number four is the inner part. Number five is the outer layer. And number six are these two wire what do you call them and number seven is the outer layer of the wire itself so how do you call them okay so what's this number eight how, what do you call of this little transparent box with golden pins eight golden pins done let's move how about this what do you call this tool of course if you know 
what is the use of this tool, you will be able to recall what's the name of this tool. Then, yay, we have number 10. So, what do you, uh, what do you call of this um, tool also? This tool allows to light the, the eight lights that represents the eight pins. Mm -hmm. So, what does it test? That's a clue. Okay, let's move on to true or false. Number one, UTP cable is twisted pair or is twisted because it's a pair of insulators. True or false? Number two, avoid cutting into conductor insulator insulation. True or false? Number three, Cat 5E can transfer data up to 1000 Mbps. True or false? Number four, UTP cable is terminated with RJ45. True or false? And number five, sort wires by insulation colors. True or false? You can now write your answers on your activity sheets or in your notebook. And now, those are our short quiz. We will proceed to the instruction for your performance task. So, UTP cable splicing, activity, or performance task. You will be needing in this activity the following materials. Cat5E cable, RJ45 connectors, cable stripper, scissors, and crimping tool. You have to prepare the materials needed for the network cabling. With a pair, both will prepare cable splicing on the edge of a UTP cable. Now, you can do it by pair or you can do it individually. So, since it is pandemic and you will be doing it at home, you can just do it on your own. Okay, so instead of asking a partner to do on the other end of the cable, you will be doing the both pair. It is one good way to, for you to be able to practice it more. So that um, you will be using the end, the first end to practice and then the second end to practice again. Now, if you will be able to do it correctly, that would be better. Okay, if you do not get it on the first try, it's okay. You just need to practice more. So always remember that practice makes you the best. So practice and practice until you will be able to succeed in doing your connection. Okay, so how will you be rated for this? Okay. So, for the criteria, you will be given an A score, which means advance, if you have followed the instructions with a clear objective of exceeding the expectation for the required output showing deep understanding of the lesson by communicating as a team or within yourself presenting a neat and working network cable output so you're just not doing this for compliance but with the intention of doing it good and best or better better than it should you should be doing it okay so another score e which stands for excellent so you have followed the instructions with a clear objective achieving the expected output and have shown in understanding of the lesson by communicating as a team or by 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 showing that you have understood it as a as a participant or as a per, for your performance and presenting a working network cable output D is for developing so it is understood if you will not be able to get it on the first try 
on the second trial, on the third trial, or so on and so forth. It's okay. It's normal. Because even the best um, network technician here must have experienced or have experienced this kind of struggle in doing the network connection. Even I myself did not, I were not able to, I was not able to do it and get it on my first try. So you are so good if you were, you will be able to do it on your, on your first time. You know, it will be a bit, a bit painful on, painful on your palms and fingers, but with a bit of um, determination and passion and um, being objective in your task, you will be able to succeed. So developing means you are showing your interest in the lesson as seen in the output depicting the ba basic understanding of the lesson present presenting a working network cable output. So B is for beginning. Meaning to say, you are trying to comply with the requirements with little understanding of the lesson as seen in the finished yet not working output. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean that you are a beginner, um, you will fail. Because if you are in the beginning level, it means that you are still starting and you are still trying to grasp the, the knowledge, the theories, the informations that you have learned from this. Now, you just need to give more focus and attention and determination, you will be able to get it also. Okay? So, don't worry because if you, are, if you are in this level, beginning level, you will be given a chance to improve yourself until such time that you will reach the excellent and advanced level in this activity. So, good luck and I hope you will be able to finish this on time so that you will be able to submit this on time also. Have a great day. The rest of the instructions and guidelines and procedures for this activity and quizzes will be found in your activity sheets. So do not forget to um, do your test in your activity sheet and perform your performance test. Also, do not hesitate to submit your output if you are done already, even prior to the expected time. And if you will not